Alright, so hello everyone, my name is Matt Wurtkowski and welcome back to um, how to make a Finance of Freddy's game on Click Team Fusion. We are now at episode 4 and if you remember from my last episode I said that I would um, be making two separate videos on the office scrolling. So the first one which showcased the, uh, let me zoom this out a little bit, uh, the classic scrolling, the one that has all the bars and stuff. And then, this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the kind of scrolling that was used for sister location. And yes, there is a difference. Um, so, obviously, the first thing I want to do is make a new frame. We're not going to use the same frame. That doesn't make sense. Um, do all the normal stuff. Uh, I'll kind of just skim by through some of that stuff because I'm sure you guys probably already know the gist at this point. We're just going to jump right into it. We're not going to pull any punches. I know you guys. I know what you guys are here for, so we're we'll just do it immediately. So of course we're gonna insert an active object. Click on that. Um, go in here, and then um for this office we're gonna be using the um sister location kinds type scrolling. Um, so um I actually took the time to sort out all the files for the game because. I actually do have a sister location for files. Let me let me know if you guys want that decompiled as well. Um, but yeah, basically, basically, this is what we have here. So, um, import as animation. Uh, wait a second. That's not okay. Um. Uh. All right, all right. So let's go back there. Did that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So now we're gonna insert this up to the current frame. Does that show up in there? Um. Ooh, that's a, that that's a duplicate. That's supposed to say that's supposed to say import options. What the heck? All right. Well, fine, OBS. Fine. Well, I'm sorry. But basically, I'm just adding in the animations, animations and stuff. Nothing too much. Um, add in the rest. Is that okay? Wait. So obviously, we're gonna make that loop since that's all one sub animation. Yep. Cool. So we have to add in there. Nice, nice. Um. Then what we're gonna do is. We're basically going to shrink this down to the appropriate size. That's actually a little too small. We don't want... Uh, 720. Uh, hopefully I don't... Okay. So that's it. Uh, and we'll just name this office. You guys already pretty much know what to do. Again, you can do your own office. I'm not saying you have to do exactly what I'm doing here with the animations and stuff. I'm just doing the sister location office for the purposes of the tutorial. Okay, thank you, Click Team, for responding. Um, um, that's pretty much that. And now we're going to go ahead, make a new layer and start doing the actual scrolling so what we're gonna do here is we are going to insert another object another active object um this is going to be invisible so you don't have to really worry about what it looks like but i'm just going to make this um a red square just because it'll be more convenient i feel like um after that a line in frame uh, horizontal center, vertical center. Actually, we, we we may want this. So, what's the um, size of this again? One seven one six. Hmm. Uh, you know what? We'll just go ahead and stick with that. So this is gonna be the screen follow, basically. Um, and if you want, if you want, if you want to make the camera scroll like we're gonna do with the other office, 
then you're going to want two different kinds of scrolling for here. So it's going to be the office follow and the camera follow. But right now we're just going to have the screen follow for now. Next, we want to insert our mouse. And if you remember, then um, sister location scrolling has a custom mouse. So basically, I'm just going to go to the icons that I have on here. Uh, one more. Um, select the mouse, basically. Um, transparent color, do everything. You don't have to do the mouse like this, obviously. This is literally just a visual thing. You can make your mouse look like whatever you want it to be. Um, then, before we do anything else, we want um, to do something for, with the movement. So, uh, this is my first time actually doing something here. So, we're going to go ahead, click on movement, um, double click. Uh, actually, no, nah, we don't need that because it's going to... Yeah, because we have all these. Uh, go ahead and click on that uh, type static and click on mouse controlled. And basically, we're, we're going to click on edit movement. And this radius here, this is basically how much of the movement our mouse is basically this is going to be controlled by. So you really want to make it just the size of the entire frame. Uh, don't make it um, the size of just that frame in general. Otherwise, it will not work. Uh, click on OK, because now we have that radius in there. And actually, before I forget, go to, uh, click on this, go to that fr those frame settings, um, go to size, and basically just do whatever the size is. So that size is, let's see, 1,716, so we'll do that the exact same. That's a high recommendation. You don't ha have to do it exactly that way, but that's just what I recommend you do. Um, now, last thing that we do now, uh, click on insert object. Uh, well, actually, you're not. You may not have this up yet. So what you're gonna do is do I has that on there? Yes, it is. Okay, good, 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 good. So basically, um, I I have my thing called easing object, but this 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 is most likely not gonna be here for you already. So what you wanna do is go to the right section here and um click on manager. Yes, manager. And let's see. Oh, that act, that pop doesn't actually come up there. So let me actually go to OBS real quick and have that be in there. Extension manager. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, I know there's that. I know there's that black border down there, but just just stick with me for a second here. This is not gonna take long. So you see, we have that. We have this little um, we have that little thing that pops up right there. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down uh, until I get to the E section and then um, there's going to be a selection called easing optic. It's not on here since I already got it but basically once you find that you want to double click it. Um, oh well, actually what you want to do is click on it, select install and then it'll pretty much install that um, to your computer and there's actually quite a few things you can use. So, you know, if you ever want to just kind of fool around, see what you can really do. There's there's a lot of stuff on here for the developer version. So, Game Center Achievements. So, yeah, there is stuff for the developer version that you can only do in that version. You know what? That's probably why. That, that's probably why. I had some issues earlier, but basically, after that, um, this will okay. Hold on, uh, click team is not really responding right now. Okay, after that, you want to click on easing object and then place it just outside of the frame. That's pretty much all you want to do. Um, these settings you can keep the same. Um, now we'll finally go to the coding. I'm hoping this is actually capturing my capturing my audio. It looks like it is, so hopefully that is the case. Um, basically, uh, go to new condition. Um, well, actually, let's make let's make a new group of events. So, group of events, office scrolling. It's really only just one thing. Uh, click on new condition. Click on those thing. Click on those gears, and then select always, because you know, um, 
it'll always do this. Uh, go to easing object, um, right click on easing object, click on a move object, and then uh, click on screen follow. And you're gonna have a few options to play around here with. Um, let's see, my um, thing on here, Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. I think it's ease out exponential. I'm trying to remember exactly what it was, but we'll, we'll see. Um, enter target x coordinate. Um, basically, you're gonna go to the x position here. Um, equal to the x position. Do the same exact thing for the mouse cursor. Uh, go to position and I click on y position this time. Make sure you don't accidentally click on exposition again um do i i do milliseconds i'm not sure what event loops does i never tried that before um time uh this can be whatever i'll i'll do like 300 so yep using exponential ease out um that's equal to mouse cursor of x my cursor of y this looks really confusing so i'll just leave this up here if you ever need to like actually look at this because I know this is probably really confusing. Trust me, I was confused when I was taught this the first time as well. So, yep, that's the mouse cur That's the mouse scrolling. But trust me, that's much more convenient um, if your office is bigger. So now we're going to go to run frame. Um, ooh, oh, yeah, I know. But you can see. The, uh, the mouse is actually like moving and stuff and who actually <laughs> hold on yeah i guess i should mention real quick that if you want to if you want to um do this make sure you have a way to get out like an escape like a key to exit out of the game or something because if you don't There we go. I had to use my um drawing pad to get out of that one. Yeah, okay, so um real quick before we do that again, uh we're gonna make a new group of events just called other office code. That's what I always do it. Um go to um the mouse pound pointer and keyboard the keyboard upon pressing a key, escape. So basically, you know, you press the escape button and the application. Just so you have a way of actually getting out. And actually, I may have, um, I actually can't tell if you, hang on, hang on, I, I, I want to see, can you, do, can you see that? Uh, I'm really hoping you can, because if you don't, I, I, I can't actually see if it's running that, but I'm really hoping it does, because if it's not, well, screw you, OBS. But basically, what we're going to do now is, we're going to click on storyboard controls. Um, uh, hover over scrolling, this should seem familiar. Um, center window position and frame. Uh, click on the screen follow. Uh, don't do anything else, and then click on OK. And so it'll be center display at 0, 0 from the screen follow. And that'll be always, by the way. Make sure you put that in that always code. Don't put it in, like, upon pressing escape or anything. But now let's see what it looks like now. Yay, and obviously... The um this this red thing is still here because I haven't actually made that invisible, but um we'll go ahead and do that right now. We'll just make this invisible. Save run again. And yay, we can scroll now. So um Yep, definitely the right scrolling option. Again, you can do whatever you want with the scrolling. I'm not saying you have to um, do what I did here, but basically, yeah, this is the gist of it. <laughs> uh, but so yeah, that's the scrolling. Um, I guess we can do a perspective object on here. Uh, well, actually, let's go ahead um, and do another layer, move that down below there. 
and now we're going to do a respective object again you don't have to do this i just i just do this cuz i feel like it would be it'd be a little i i, I just feel like it would be fuller um let's, let's do the zoom value to be a little less than the first office yeah mhm mm yeah i think that works i think i think that works well so Yep, that's scrolling. How long have we been this for? Only 15 minutes. So I guess I should right now just go over this really quickly because I know I'm, the people are going to have issues with this. In terms of clicking stuff in this game, doing a simple um, user clicks with left button trigger will not work with this kind of scrolling. You have to do um, a couple extra steps, which isn't too bad. But the big issue is if you are trying to click on something with this kind of scrolling, make sure that whatever you are trying to click is on the exact same layer as this, as this right here. Because if you don't, then it's not going to work. I don't know why it's like that, but if it is, if it, but if it isn't on the exact same layer as, uh, your mouse cursor, then it is not going to work. Like it just will not work. I know that sounds dumb. I know it sounds weird, but that is just how this works on a click team so um that's pretty much all i have to do for this video um we'll go over i I'll think cameras will probably be the next big thing next episode um and then after that we'll do door controls on, on both versions by the way i won't just single this out for one version i'll i'll go over both versions in that episode um which i know will get confusing but um it'll just be the best depending on what kind of um office you're using but that's pretty much all this up for this episode just figuring out how to make the sister, sister location scrolling work um if you really need a simplified version just have um invisible active here uh, a mouse cursor that represents whatever that's also an active object and the easing object which again you need to go um again you need to go to this manager thing right here Oh, what the heck? That's not supposed to happen. Oh. Oh, well, there we go. I don't know why that happened. Wait. Well, yeah, uh, you know, have that open up. Um, go down the E section, select easing object, um, install it, make sure you install it, um, you'll have that in there now, this works for literally anything else, um, and that's, that's pretty much it for assisted location scrolling, I uh, hope this video was helpful, and again, I will be back next time to show you guys how to do the cameras, so fun, alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.